I built B-17s and B-29s. Now, I was a riveter. First, you're a bucker. When you sign in, you're a bucker. And then you become a riveter after you get you know, good at what you're doing. And we built, at least in Boeing plant alone, we built 6,000, 12,000 all told in the, all the different plants. That's up just the B-17. And of course, well, then the B-29 came along. And that was getting closer to the end of the war. They were having trouble with the B-29, I think, was fire in the engines. And of course, we didn't build as many of those. But I, I liked the B-17 so much better. I liked working on them. And it was funny because we were young and naive. I was 17 when I went there. And we used to crawl as buckers. We had to crawl in the wing. You had to weave between the, uh, the, ri the ribs and the wing. Now, you're a bucker in there, and you can't hear what the s riveter on the outside's doing. You sort of have a rhythm. You know, you knock once for, you know, hit it again or twice if you want to take it out. We just sort of had a method of our own. And if you got a good riveter, it wasn't bad at all. But I think it was noisy. And I said, it was, it was good that we were young and naive because you couldn't be in there if you were claustrophobic. But uh, that was just a way of, of life at the time. I look back on it now when I see a complete a B-17, I just stare at it and think, how did I ever get in there? <laughs>